Welcome to the final tutorial that we're doing this month for the Joomla Beat podcast on using Seblod to build a gallery or portfolio style site. Now, throughout this month, we've gone and created our content type uh, gallery items or portfolio items where we can add in this custom content to our Joomla website. And then we've uh, looked at Seblod list and search types to display that information on a page like this where you can see all of the, um, the images that you've uploaded into your system. And then we looked at Seblod applications and how they can boost the functionality of your website really easily because they are pre-packaged bundles of functionality that you can download of seblod.com with a VIP subscription. And we used the use case particularly of adding a commenting system for logged in users on um, our image content type. So when you click on an image, you can go in and if you're logged in, you can leave a review. And then underneath that, you can see the reviews from other users. And of course, we've just used some default styling of Joomla because we didn't want to get too much into the, the templating and that sort of thing. But you're able to then use um, your templates and, and styling to make that functionality fit your site. So we've really just focused on functionality. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can take all of this work that we've done in the last month, package it up into a zip file, that can then be installed on any other Joomla um, Seblod website, uh, as long as they've got, you know, got the same up-to-date versions. It's not like you can take something from, from Joomla 3 and install it on Joomla 1.5, but if, if you're working within the same versions of the software, then you can take that package and install it on a new site. So that's what we're gonna do in, in today's tutorial, and hopefully you can see then how this whole month now you've built this gallery functionality and you can reuse it on uh, many different projects that you're building and continue to expand on it and build on it as you need to. So here I am in the back end of our site and to get our package file, we just need to go into the Seblod app folders interface and we need to find our application folder which we created for this project. So I'm on page two here. And you can see under the apps folder, we've got our gallery folder, which we created and put all of our um, forms, fields, and lists into. And we've also got the comments fold, uh, comments application folder here, which was installed when we installed that application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this comments folder underneath the gallery folder so that when I download the gallery folder, it's going to include the comments within it. Okay, so now we can see the nesting of the comments folder underneath the gallery folder. Now this is the really simple part of it. All you need to do to download the contents of the gallery folder, so all of your Seblot elements, the forms, fields, lists, everything, is click on this button here to the left. Now you can set some different app options. If you click on that app, up the top here, click app options. You can choose which elements are exported and which ones aren't if you want to manage that, but we're just going to leave them as the default settings. You can uh, request to either use the categories that we've set up as part of our application, uh, so that they will be installed as well on your new site or not. And also just about the way that the file name is generated and we're going to leave that as default, but I'm just showing you uh, in case you want to have a, have a play with those different export settings. So I'm going to click the download button. And you can see that that's prompted a download to my computer. Now I'm going to tab over to a completely fresh Joomla installation and uh, install Seblot and show you how easy it is to now install that application folder into our new site. So here we've got a completely fresh Joomla installation, which I've just installed, and it's Joomla 3.4.3. So I'm going to go to the Extensions Manager and first install Seblod. So now we've got Seblod installed. I'm going to show you that we've got nothing in the content type manager apart from the uh, the default stuff that comes installed in Seblod. 
nothing in the list and search type manager except for the default stuff and same in the app folders and template folders. So now you can see the before state and once we install our application you'll be able to see what is installed with it. So we'll go back to the extension manager in Joomla and now install that application package file we downloaded previously. So now if we go back into Seblog, into our form and content type manager, you'll see that our comments form has been installed, our gallery item content type and form has been installed. The list and search types associated with those apps have also been installed. If we go to our category manager, you'll see that those categories have been installed as well. And if we're in our article manager and we click new, we have our gallery item content type there ready for us to put in our fresh content on our new website. So that shows you just how easy it is to build applications and, and build functionality with Seblod that then saves you time in future in your development process because you've got these creations that if you've put them in an application folder, you're able to pick up and move to a new site. So once you've done something once, you don't need to continue to do it again and again um, as you build new websites. And that really is the power, I think, uh, of Seblod in that uh, it really does save you time in future when you're building in this way. So uh, I hope this month has been really helpful for you in terms of getting uh, used to Seblot and getting used to some of the ideas and I uh, really hope to see some of you on the Seblot.com forums uh, having a go with different things and, and asking questions and, um, and we're there to, to help you out in learning how to use Seblot. There's also uh, a really detailed manuals page on Seblot.com. If you go to the resources section and go into manuals, you'll see a whole heap of manuals there about all the basics um, right up to intermediate and advanced stuff and, and how you can do different things. So um, check that out as well if you're having trouble with anything. Otherwise, feel free to continue to ask your questions here at Joomla Beat or uh, at the at Seblod handle on Twitter. And um, happy Sebloding. <laughs>